So I know most of y'all have been hibernating lately in this crypto winter, but have you noticed that exchange tokens have been rocketing lately? And that's because that they're hosting a thing called IEOs or initial exchange offerings, kind of a different fundraising model than the ICOs we know oh so well. And there's been many successful projects that fundraise out of this model like Fetch AI, even BitTorrent token, which have garnered millions of dollars. And so if you're interested to learn more about this new model and where this is taking us, then all you have to do is sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. I'm with Bitcoin for Beginners, here to bring you interesting and informative content with no frills nor fluff. Now, while you're watching this video about IEOs, if you could do me a huge favor by smashing a like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already, I would appreciate you immensely. All right, so now let's dive right in. So when taking a look at crypto fundraising models, we know the ICO model super well, and that raised billions of dollars for many projects in 2017 and 2018, but they've now died down considerably. There's many problems with this model though. There were little to no regulations, which means things were crazy and a lot of regulators said to pump the brakes. Too many were scams and money grabs admittedly, and many of them failed to ever get listed on exchanges, which meant a certain death and high risk for investors. And then we also have seen STOs or security token offerings come out as well. And we've talked about that in a previous video. So I encourage you to go take a look at that. But now there's an even newer model called IEOs. What are they? They're short for initial exchange offerings. And this is where the token sales held on the exchange where the exchange serves as the intermediary. Instead of the team approaching investors directly in the ICO model, exchanges assess whether the project or token is valid or good at all and then decide whether to accept it. Investors don't need to deal with smart contracts directly to get their tokens. Instead, they just register and buy them from exchanges. Here are some advantages of this model. For projects, they have access to a large number of existing customers on the exchange and more visibility. No need to manage smart contracts and KYC AML processes, which may be a headache. For investors, there's lower risk because exchanges guarantee listing pretty much. There's also an additional layer of due diligence by exchanges, even though you should be doing your own research, of course. Also, big exchanges can handle security much better than tiny projects. For exchanges, new customers equals potentially repeat customers as well. But there are some disadvantages to this model. First of all, exchanges can be hacked. We all know this oh so well. Also, you don't own the tokens because exchanges manage your private keys for you. And the wallet might not be available until later, which means you likely can't withdraw it. It also is restricted from the broader crypto community. Only users of certain exchanges can access these IEO tokens. Because of the instant listing and liquidity, this also potentially makes it easier for the dev teams to pump and dump. So you may be wondering, how are projects chosen for the exchange listings? Well, exchanges do the due diligence to choose the projects. They look at team, progress, idea, the market, community, etc. And they also want to know if the project is willing to do joint marketing campaigns with the exchange. This can come in the form of special airdrops, media blitzes, and so forth. Also, teams must pay a listing fee to the exchanges, of course, and this could just be a percentage of the tokens sold. Now, how do you participate as a user? Well, this may vary depending on the exchange, but in general, these are the steps. Sign up for the exchange, go through KYC AML process, fund your account with the IEO's accepted coins, most likely Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so forth, purchase the IEO tokens with your coins, but you have to act quickly because once it opens, it may run out quickly. Also then the exchanges send the tokens to your account and then you can start to hodl, withdraw, or trade. How are the tokens distributed? This is similar to ICO models where rules may vary. The teams can set a fixed price per token. They can also set the limit on number of tokens each investor can buy. They can also adjust their soft and hard caps accordingly. Now what exchanges have been participating so far? Binance has their launch pad. Bittrex International IEO Platform, OKX has OK Jumpstart, Huobi has Huobi IEX, Bitmax has Bitmax Launchpad, KuCoin has KuCoin Spotlight, and much more. As you can tell, these are mostly Asian exchanges, but Europe has one called Paytomat that's also getting involved. One big question you may be asking is, what will regulators think? ICOs have become a black mark on the crypto world. Regulators stepped in and put a stop to ICOs in many countries, like China, for example. Many of them are not too happy about IEOs as well. Remember, the Chinese government deemed ICOs and other models illegal before. I have no idea how other regulators will react. IEOs are just getting started. They're in a very nascent phase right now. 
But one thing to note is that because there's more vetting of projects and investors, this may be better for them in the eyes of regulators because it's safer. Here's my thoughts. I haven't participated in the IEOs. I'm curious if you have. Let me know in the comments down below. But I don't feel like waiting all day and then rushing to grab some tokens and potentially them running out before I can get any. So that's why I haven't been doing any of these. And not to mention, they're also restricting countries like the US. This model is just getting started though. I like the benefits a lot. The partnership between the exchange and the team. This will definitely be more restrictive to companies wanting to do this fundraising. Because of that, we'll see way less IEOs than ICOs, which is a good thing. I think much, much more will come and I'm excited to see where this model goes. The crypto phase is full of innovation, evolution, going really fast. I'm excited to see where it goes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. What do you think about IEOs? Have you participated in any? Have you hollowed your Binance coins or Bitbox tokens or Huobi coins or KuCoin shares? If so, you may be very happy. Some of them have outperformed Bitcoin in this bear market. Let me know your thoughts. Give me a like, subscribe down below. This is Kevin and I'll see you guys next time.